Good morning, my friends. Uh, in the never-ending uh, attempt to bring you what is happening in the world of gun control, we're going to go talk about the TSA and a U.S. attorney. Uh, but first, I wanted to mention that over at Shall Not Comply, there's a restock of Guns and Gadgets shirts. Uh, they're going to pop up all over here if I can figure out the editing today. Um, but uh, we, uh, all the shirts are restocked and ready to go. So if you want a, uh, a, an official Guns and Gadgets shirt and to help support the channel as well, I'll have a link down below where you can grab these bad Larrys. You can also grab anything else from that store, uh, whether it's another creator or something else you like. And if you use my link, it helps the channel. So thank you for your consideration. And you can get these hats there as well. I love these hats, the three stars. Let's talk about uh, the U.S. attorney who decided that he's going to go outside of the box to try to screw gun owners. So TSA has been reporting for like, I don't know, three or four months now that the amount of loaded guns uh, or guns in general, most of them have been loaded, that have been brought to checkpoints while in somebody's carry-on baggage is skyrocketing. And of that number, I believe 83% of those were loaded. And most people were just like, oh man, I forgot. I didn't even know it was in there. I forgot to put it in the safe in the car or something like that. Um, and the way the, the federal law is, is if the U.S. attorney cannot show criminal intent, you can't charge somebody. It's not illegal to go, oops, damn, my bad. However, Stephen Kaufman, who was the U.S. attorney for Pennsylvania's Western District, like I said, is going to try to think outside the box to screw you, the law-abiding gun owner who just happened to go, oh man, I, I should have checked this. I should have declared this. A lot of people, if they're doing it for the first time, they don't know how to declare a firearm. Um... It gets easy over time, trust me. But uh, maybe they screwed up. And what this U U.S. attorney has done is made an agreement with the local sheriff where the sheriff will will re will revoke the pistol permits, the uh, carry permits, for those people as long as they are residents in his county. Now, they're saying, TSA is saying that they've had 27 firearms uh, confiscated so far uh at their Pittsburgh location, which is the Western District that we're talking about, and that number is a far increase from what it typically is. In fact, the numbers skyrocketed last year during the <coughs> and um, and you combine that with the fact that a lot a lot fewer people were flying, yet more guns are being uh, confiscated. There are people calling this an epidemic of guns at airports. So the Allegheny County. Sheriff has agreed to revoke permits of folks who bring their gun to a checkpoint without declaring them. Uh, it will revoke them for them acting in a negligent way. Now, uh, I, I read an article uh, that Cam Edwards had did. Uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before on this, and he posted in his article every reason in Pennsylvania that you can be you can have your pistol permit revoked, and none of them were forgetfulness. None of them were oops, forgot to declare it. Uh, can I declare it now? Oh no, it's too late. Uh, so this sheriff is going to go outside of his authority to violate someone's Second Amendment right. Hmm. Now the other question is what happens when it's somebody who doesn't live in Allegheny County? If it's not a resident from there, are they going to reach out to say, I don't know, insert Ohio, uh, Iowa, Florida? Are they going to reach out to those sheriffs to try to jam people up too? Hmm. This is unconstitutional. I know I don't need to tell you, preaching to the choir, but I wanted everybody to know that they're also trying backdoor gun control at airports through a U.S. attorney who doesn't have the power to charge anybody because nobody has shown criminal intent because it's a legit accident. Now they're trying to get the locals involved, the same locals who took an oath to uphold and defend the U.S. Constitution. And last I checked, I mean, I check it regularly just in case it's changed. Second Amendment is still in there and they are supposed to obey the constitution but they want to revoke your rights because yeah so i just thought i'd put that out there uh, that uh this is shady very shady and this is something that we need to stay on top of because if this pa if this stuff is spread <laughs> this could be really really bad uh, for people who just made an honest mistake so i want to thank you all for your time today i hope you have a fantastic day please don't forget to check out shall not comply and grab some guns and gadget shirts i would wear one today but it's 43 degrees outside and it is officially sweater weather here in new england it's it's brisk in here right now so thank you for your time i appreciate you all more than you could ever imagine uh and i look forward to having an opportunity to meet you all again soon be safe stay vigilant carry a weapon i'll see you on the next one take care everybody